Hi, I am Nikki and together with my husband Rob and our two children, we go to Audacious South location. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about relationships in our lives. So as we go through life, we do form all sorts of relationships with colleagues at work, with friends, romantic relationships, with neighbours and with our own families. Some of them endure and become deep, lasting relationships and some are only for a time. Some we invest heavily in and some might be more surface level, maybe described as acquaintances. Can you think of a relationship which has positively impacted you during your life? In the Bible, Proverbs 17, 17 talks about a friend who is always loyal. The message version talks about friends who love through all kinds of weather and families who stick together in all kinds of trouble. Have you known someone you've laughed and cried with? Someone who you can be the real you with? I definitely had a very special friend like that, who sadly passed away a few years ago. I'm so thankful though for the imprint that she left on mine and many others' lives. These types of relationships are truly priceless and we need to invest in and protect them. I'm so grateful for the different times and ways that God has brought various people into my life, very special friends and also strong, lasting, trusted business relationships. Having set up our business four and a half years ago, I'm still amazed how God connects us with and introduces us to the right people at the right time and so, so often not through anything that we've done ourselves. Why is this all so important? As humans, relationships and community are key for us. We were made to be in relationship with one another, as well as God. In Genesis 2.18, God said it's not good for us to be fully alone. Thinking about people who are with us through the tough times and the importance of community, I'm reminded about a time when our neighbours came together when several of our houses, including our own, flooded a few years ago. It was such a tough time, but our abiding memories are of going into each other's houses, helping each other switch off the electricity, move things upstairs to safety, trying to divert water away from drives to stop it entering houses. And a neighbour arriving with a camping kettle and a row of cups on the garden wall to make us all a hot drink. And a great friend standing with us at the end of the day, surrounded by dirty flood water, giving us a hug and offering us their hospitality. These times transformed our relationships from being neighbourhood acquaintances to friends as we supported each other through the floods and the six months aftermath of stripping out and restoring our homes. People in our lives play such an important role in developing and moulding us. In the Bible, the book of Proverbs in 2717 talks about iron sharpening iron and how we can help each other by speaking to each other's lives at times with encouragement and at times with challenge, but always with love and respect for each other. We can grow and learn and at times we'll fail or we'll stumble, but we'll get back up with the support of these kind of relationships in our lives. Enduring friendships can be deep, stronger than family ones. Proverbs 18.24 talks about the friendship between David and Jonathan, describing a friend who sticks closer than a brother. So how can we be a good friend, colleague or neighbour to others? I personally love chapter 13 in 1 Corinthians and believe it gives me such a great guide of how to love each other as well. Please check out 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7 for just such a powerful picture of love. If we truly grow in each of these areas and demonstrate love to each other, then I believe that we'll see those relationships that we crave come to fruition. It's not always easy, but over the long term, it's worth it. I hope this encourages you to invest well in the relationships in your life and appreciate and value them deeply. Thank you. Have a great day, church.